reasons. Mm -hmm. Me, one being that it's warm, but it yep. brings just a deluge of weather, as Kevin likes to say. <laughs> a deluge. De oh, I don't forget the word. Yeah. Uh, you, you were close enough right there. I think you had it perfectly <laughs> it right. It brings a lot of weather. <laughs> Always trust yourself. Your first instincts. That's the best way to go. <laughs> it's raining. It looks like we'll have some of that moving in here just in time for the weekend, basically. Unfortunately, we've already seen things change outside thus far today. We started out with lots of sunshine, but if you look out right now, you probably are questioning your Friday evening plans, but don't worry. I'm here to deliver a little bit of good news. It looks fine for this evening and the majority of tonight, even though it looks like rain and we did have a few sprinkles, especially across parts of northern Kentucky pass through, but this is quickly now drifting away and I don't think it has much of an impact on your Friday night. So a few sprinkles down here near Wrightsville, Manchester, along the Ohio River back towards Maysville. Again, nothing you know, particularly heavy here. It's all very light, more of a nuisance than anything else. Same story across parts of uh, Pendleton into Grant counties here. So a few sprinkles and showers down along 75. So big picture here shows you that this activity is actually drifting away from the area, but it is a sign of what's to come for the weekend. Basically, we'll be watching clusters of showers and storms come out of the west and move across the Ohio Valley. And in fact, it looks like our first round moves in here on Saturday morning. The timing a little tricky here. It could rain as early as six in the morning. It could hold off to about eight or nine. Either way, I think if you've got something Saturday morning, rain certainly is going to be an issue. A little drier Saturday afternoon, but then we'll have those hit and miss downpours develop during the day. And then it looks like wet Saturday night into Sunday morning again, and then pretty good coverage of showers and storms likely come Sunday afternoon and evening. Now with this off and on storm threat through the weekend, let's talk about some of the impacts. The greatest concern potential for heavy rainfall around the area. In fact, I think it's a pretty good bet that most of us pick up between about one and two inches of rain over the weekend around here. Of course, with any of these summer storms, you've got the threat of lightning out there. Depending upon how warm we're able to get between the rounds of showers and storms, some of the storms could have some gusty winds with them as well. So here's a look at the satellite and radar. There's that little cluster that fizzled as it moved our way, but as a warm front begins to return across the Ohio Valley, that will help give those storms a little more juice. Drop in humidity today, it feels pretty nice out, right? But the muggy air is not far away and it surges back in here starting tomorrow. So 73 right now officially at the airport. Look at the dew point in the upper 50s northwest breeze. That's why it's dry tonight. We've got dry, comfortable air in place. We're in the low to mid 70s in most locations. So over the next 12 hours, you're in good shape through the majority of the night. Should be pretty comfortable. However, the threat for showers and storms will begin to go up as we work our way towards sunrise tomorrow morning. Futurecast seeing it like this quiet much of the night tonight. We may have an hour or two dry weather early tomorrow, but you can already see come 6 7 a.m. Here comes an area of showers and storms. It dries up a little bit late morning, early afternoon, but then you'll see some hit and miss downpours for the afternoon and evening, and that wet weather continues through Saturday night. And then on Sunday again, look at Sunday afternoon, pretty widespread coverage of showers and storms once more. So overall, tonight's quiet and comfortable 64. Those sprinkles are moving out early rain, then a little drier, followed by hit and miss downpours in the afternoon. Obviously, it's a weather impact day around the tri-state. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. So Stephen and Ashley, not a complete washout of the weekend, but certainly there will be periods of wet weather that impact outdoor plans. And you can see the stormy weather kind of sticks around right into early next week. Kevin, thank you so much.